Well, I said I was going to take a look at some hyperbole. Absolutely ridiculous stuff going on. So hyperbole. Um, is this hyperbole? Oh, no, it was ultra bullet I was going to look at. But never mind, this is the only one that's available at the minute. So hyperbole, I think, is 30 seconds. I think the ultra bullet is 15 seconds. Well, we'll see anyway. Yeah, 30 seconds. So we're following this player and just having a look. This is, um, and there's no increment on it whatsoever. So they're just throwing moves out all over the place. It's absolutely crazy. How you can take a moment to even think of going for a move, I really don't know. It's um, by the time you've done your stuff. I mean, it, it can even throw in a cheeky rook here. This pawn can take and all sorts of stuff. That's freaky. So you're definitely not going to find the best positions in these games at all. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, whoever makes these games up. I think these games are made up because somebody wants to be a champion somewhere. So they make another game up so that they can be the best at that. And they just keep... Is there like a one minute bullet? One second bullet? You know? I'm surprised it's not dropped down to that. So who happened? Uh, Black timed out, so our guy won. <laughs> so when I say when I'm making my comments about, oh, I think this person might be a, a hyper um, ultra bullet specialist. Specialist. This is the reason why, because <clears throat> if you've got like an increment in the games we're playing, which is two minutes one second increments, and if they're really good at this ultra stuff, um, or even the hyper. Um, but I go for the lowest one, which is like the 15 second one, because it's just absolutely frenetic. It's even more crazy than this speed here. But if you can do that and you're finding appropriate positions, then you're clocking your seconds up, you know, in, in an increment game. But it also might have its downside because maybe you're not realistically finding the best positions. I mean, wow, look how fast this. <laughs> It's unbelievable. I can't even follow it to give any narration because I, just, I don't believe in it. I really don't believe in it. At least with the two, two minute, one second game, you have a moment to think. You know, it's, <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. So waiting for the next one. I mean, I don't even know how you can move with the mouse that fast. You know, you... What is it, touch screen or sort of even touch screen? You do, 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 oh, I don't know. You definitely can't be using a normal, a normal mouse, you know, with a wire on it attached to your PC. You can't be using a mouse like that. Or unless, of course, you've got your screen really small and you, you know, not even then, because you still got to grab the piece, move it. Have a look at the bit and grab the piece and move it. So you've got to grab and pull, grab and push it somewhere. Look at one, bang. Oh, he's taking a moment to think. Oh. So just going for simple, I might catch up, you know, I might catch up. It's attacking the queen, so he's, yeah, he's attacking and he's attacking again. So it's all simple attacks, really. And castles, attacking the bishop. And a bit of fancy position play here. Um, is, X-ray through to the queen, the knight's attacking. So it's all, it's genuinely just simple attacks. So if you can get good at attacking, captures, yeah, yeah, yeah. With a bit of an understanding as to position. Oh, look at that with the knight supporting, but really the knight, yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, trust me, I'm not going at any lower than 2-1. Um, the problem is the arenas don't do 2-1s. They just do, like, one-minute bullets. You know, and I definitely can't play one-minute bullets. I'm just thinking, do they do any higher than a one-minute bullet? No, it's just one-minute bullets. One minute zero. In Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. So just rapid moves, capture, 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 but, but there. And see if I can keep up with the pace. So you drag in, well, you drag it, look that, you see, you, <laughs> you must be already predicting what move you're making, in a sense. What? 
I can't see nothing. No, I would have taken that pawn and got my queen taken off the board. Wow. My mouse didn't even move that fast. And to grab and move it. Even touch screen would you can't you can't do it that quick. What? I'm trying to fathom this out. Huh? That is unbelievable. I know I seem to be moving faster in the bullet, you know what I mean? I am getting a bit of a rhythm there, but that momentary pause type thing, I'm sort of like sitting waiting for the opponent to make moves, so in a sense I'm not moving as fast because the opponents aren't moving as fast. They're just m taking the time, losing on time because they're overthinking, which is good for us. So in essence, I'm not being forced to move this quick. Hmm. Oh, it's gone a bit slow. 16 seconds. Oh, oh, it's oh. Oh, this is the calmest it's ever been. Oh, I'm looking for position. Oh, it's slowed down now. You know, for a laugh, I'm going to play a a hyper bullet one, and then I'm going to play an ultra one. But I'm only going to play it anonymously. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, I don't actually think there's a category on the, you know, on your own profile thing for Ultra. I'm not sure. Does it all just come under Bullet? Yeah, I think it all just comes under Bullet. So I'll play. I'll try some anonymous ones and see see what fun that is. But yeah, that is. I mean, realistically, I don't even like the one minute one. So I, I'm going to struggle doing thirty seconds, aren't I? They seem to seem to be slowing down a bit now. My, my brain seems to be catching up with elements. Yeah, so they're taking the time here now. Boom, yeah. Searching for those positions. Knight comes up. Yeah, okay. It's attacking again. So, ooh, looky, looky, looky at that. Damn, that was nice. Bit too quick for me. I'll watch one more and then we'll go in and just um, give a try on a little bit of an anonymous thing. Hyper and then ultra. Okay, dum dum dum. Yeah, oof, dear, it's still fast. It's still fast. Oof. Bit of a lull going on now. It's calming down a bit. Position and searching for. Okay, so they're taking the time. Yeah, looking for position. Look, he's taking his time again. This queen is a little bit hemmed in. So he's uh, going to have to uh, maybe. I don't think he's going to have time to do any of that though, is he? <laughs> well, he is moving it over. Down to the dying seconds. But look how cool, cool the player is. They are taking the time. Okay. So you'd, you'd have to get used to losing on time a few times, really. If you're looking for those positions, that's probably what's going to happen in my games. I'm going to play um, this second. I said that was the last one, didn't I? Okay, going for a hyper bullet first, which is the 30 second one. Let's. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Don't judge me. Let's go. So playing as anonymous. <clears throat> I would have thought I would have got a seek straight away because people like playing these super fast, speedy, nonsense games. Okay, so we're off. Well, we're not off because they haven't made a move. Oh, here we go. One. Take your time. Take your time. I'm going to lose on time in the first few because I'm. Just take my time, place the pieces where I want them to be, and just get the bishop here. And let's attack now the bishop. 
if he doesn't attack before us. So let's go here. Let's attack the bishop. Let's move the bishop. Let's come this way. Let's attack the bishop again. He doesn't really want his bishop taking. Might have to leave him alone. Let's take. Yeah, we are going to lose on time the first one because we're searching for position. Trying to get used to this. Oh, shine on Harvey Moon. Lost the old Queen of Rune. I suppose he's waiting for me to resign now. Oh, doesn't want to take it. Okay. He's playing uh, Mr. Oh, yeah, it's because I'm down on time. Okay, right. So, yeah, we're going to lose on time, but they only had nine seconds extra. So, a bit of practice. What I don't want to do is just really fire out the moves. I'd rather, if I'm going to try and do it, which I'm not, I'm not. Um, I think the plan would be for anybody, if they were trying to do it, is really look at trying to get good positions and keep your openings the best way you like so that you understand what is actually going on in the game rather than just throwing pieces out there all over the place so we're going to try again doesn't mean we're good with well, this is the first time we're doing this so just be happy with the opening that you've got if they do do something different just try and stick with the basics of what we understand in playing chess so I don't need to go super fast just make a move make a move have a look at what they're trying to do if we've got time to block it off block it off but realistically i think it's just a matter of keeping oh my dear people don't want to play that's really weird because you'd think everybody's into these um <clears throat> quick rubbishy games you know like we're saying i mean i don't think it's proper chess at all so i don't know what the big hoo-ha is about it all because it's no demonstration of your chess skill whatsoever so anyone saying oh well if you're no good at ultra then you know you're not a real chess player it don't mean anything like that any bullet type stuff is no good to me let's just grab we're used to that let's just grab here we're used to that position let's bring this bishop here let's castle king safety and let's take this because we're used to that sort of position let's uh, hang on to the knight and bring the knight out so we're comfortable with this position, whether we're moving fast enough or not, that's a different kettle of fish. I've lost my bishop or my knight, and he's not taken, so we shall just take here first and move the knight out of the way. So we've got 10 seconds left, so it's definitely not like 2-1, um, you know, that psychology really goes out the window. Let's go here. And he's grabbing pieces, let's go here. So he knows he doesn't have to get a good position because I've only got one second left, so he can just throw anything out really. Let's just grab this. And yeah, we lose on time. This time the opponent's down to six seconds. The last opponent was down to nine. Now we've got them down to six. So we're improving. Yeah, so that's the way I would look at it. We're improving because obviously we must have moved a little bit faster in this um, game or the opponent moved a bit slower let's go again as you can see I'm not trying to power out my moves all I'm doing is trying to find half decent positions and then when it's getting to the end of it I'm not really bothered about what happens because the time has gone anyway so let's go here and let's attack the knight shall we take the pawn first got them thinking so we might win on time here and ooh he's attacking let's castle let's take this let's put this check on the king let's bring the bishop out let's push here let's bring the knight here let's attack oh <laughs> I was more set to attack the knight <laughs> oh, I should have waited for the bishop never mind let's go here nine seconds and uh, let's bring this here let's attack this <laughs> let's take here take here they're only on four seconds though mindful of that oh let's move ah i can't move two seconds let's take so he's just taking everything off the board now let's grab this here black timed out we won 
we actually won and we didn't even overexert ourselves in any way shape or form so um, that little practice session there of nine seconds we got the opponent down to nine seconds then we got them down to six seconds and now we got them to zero and we had 0.63 left without actually putting any effort in uh, looking at the tail of the tape, they've got a rook and a queen, but obviously their position isn't good enough to get a checkmate. There's no time to do anything fancy dancy. You could lose all your pieces and just win on time. And that's basically what we've done here. We weren't really looking at getting any wins. We were just trying to get the rhythm of this uh, <laughs> these short play games. Okay, so that's my whole all. I said I was going to try ultra. So let's go for the, the 15 second one now. That's going to be something special. There is actually a free quarter one as well. You know, 45 minute type thing. I didn't notice that. I don't think I see many of them. Right, okay. So let's go in on this uh, 15 second ultra bullet. I don't even know I'm going to get past the halfway mark. I don't think any of my pieces will get any development whatsoever and if the opponent comes and attacks me <laughs> I'm just gonna have to let them do it there's no time to think of any you're just gonna be shuffling and blocking as best possible that's my strategy I'm gonna shuffle and block oh my, I've not got my lead in my power's going it's just shuffle and block shuffle and block don't try and do anything. Shuffle and block. See, the opponent's doing a shuffle and block as well. Oh. Ah, he's doing a shuffle and block. He's just not caring. Yeah, he's, he's, he's basically saying, well, I don't have enough time to make any moves, dude. What are you on about? This is 15 seconds. And we actually win. <laughs> Ah, that's fantastic. Yeah, I think that was, that typified, well, I think the opponent typified the whole problem with this type of game. You know, it's like, well, dude, I don't have time to make any moves. I'm not developing any of my pieces. I've only got 15 seconds to make a move, you know, to get in the game. So why am I going to push all of these knights out, these bishops out here? By the time I've done that, the game's over. And this opponent typified my thoughts exactly about Ultra Bullet. You know, it's, <laughs> it's a complete nonsense. Oh, dear me. Well, um, that's it. That's all. I don't need to do any more now. Um, we've had the experience. And we'll go back to the 2-1. Nice slow plod in the bullet area. It's the highest range bullet that I've, I've, I think I know of. I don't think there's any more bullets that uh, you can class as bullet let's have a look at the time frames before I spout my mouth off um, oh, it doesn't show if it is bullet or not does it oh, it only shows you when you're actually in the game so 2 1 is it 2 2 a bullet that's a blitz though isn't it it's going to be a blitz. 2-2. Two, two. Let's see. Yeah, it's blitz. 2-2 two, two is a blitz. Let's come out of that and not play. Oh, let's... No, no never mind. Yeah, so 2-1 is the highest um, bullet that you can go for. Which is really quite pleasing to the... I, I feel like just jumping in and doing a 2-1. Oh, actually, no. Let's do a 1-0. One, a one, oh. Now that we've had the semblance of, we should now feel that this is like running a, a marathon, you know, a nice slow plod. Okay, so we've got got a one minuter. So is this going to be like the marathon version of these sprints? Are we going to be able to take our time and still find a good position, not lose on time, stay focused, still be able to do a bit of narrative about the moves? Are we? That is the question. After having played those ultras and the hyper bullet, um, this feels really slow. <laughs> this feels so slow. 
doesn't mean we're going to win it just means that it is slow you know the words that are coming out of my mouth it, it's just slower you can pace it a little bit to try and attempt but it has to be as nailed on as you can let's just attack both these bishop and the knight it's not going for that let's take It's not going for that either, okay. So you're trying to squish my king somehow. Do, oh, uh, maybe not, and um, I believe I'm stuck. Let's go here. Let's grab. So they're on 16 seconds at the minute. Let's just grab here. Just try keeping it safe as best possible. Just let's get rid of this pawn, maybe just bring it out into the open. Let's see if we can get a two on one. It's attacking our pawn anyway, so I'm going to bring the bishop here. We do have a two on one. Let's grab the pawn. It's only got four seconds left, so maybe they're now sort of like flaking out a bit. Push this pawn protecting. Let's attack up here, shall we take, and they've got 0 seconds, we've got 14 seconds, that felt very relaxing um, after playing the ultras, so I think the training we've been doing with the 2 minute 1 second game as well obviously has helped, because we're a little bit more relaxed in that area there, so it's almost like I'm not fearing the bullet, you know, I don't like it, it's still garbage, but at least I feel a little bit more chilled and relaxed in these processes. Hmm, nice game.